Hello everyone, welcome back to another aircraft model store review. Today we have got another 1 to 400 scale model. This one is the NG Models Boeing 757-200PCF in the Grand Tour, the flying orangutan livery. Before we start this review, make sure you check the description down below for any information you may have missed, our website link and the details to our giveaway, which we are doing. It will all be down there in the description for you to go ahead and check out. In the meantime, let's go ahead and have a look at this model. So around the box is fairly simple, uh, the standard sort of NG models box. We've got Boeing 757-200PCF, uh, the Grand Tour, uh, the side-on drawn image of the aircraft. You can see this is the Grand Tour and the flying orangutan livery, which obviously remarks Jeremy Clarkson. You can see the background here has got some of his uh, famous quotes um, just in the, in the background. You can just see it very faint there. Uh, along the front of the box. DHL, the registration VHTCA, the Boeing licensed product logo, 1 to 400 scale die cast, and obviously the NG models uh, logo there on the bottom. Same here as well, the side on drawn image, Boeing 757 200 PCF, and then the registration. Um, you can see DHL on the bottom, uh, 757 200 PCF, and on the back. Pretty much the same design as the front. We've got obviously the little quotes in the background, very subtle. Um, their information of all their social media. Obviously the flying orangutan is what the aircraft is called. And then uh, all the sort of usual warnings and such with the item number being just at the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll get this model out of the box and we'll have a quick little look at what it has to offer. So there is an overall view of the model out of the box. What we'll do is we can have a little closer look as usual, starting from the left-hand side of the model. So here we are then starting from the left-hand side of this aircraft. You can see the cockpit windows there and uh, the little black livery design they've got on the DHL 757. The three red stripes coming from the nose cone down towards the front boarding door, which is here where obviously the crew get on board for the aircraft. Um, and you'll be noticing this is a PCF, so the PCF of the 757 is a converted freighter. So this aircraft in its history was a commercial operated aircraft. So I'm not sure if you can see, we've got a bit of light on the model so you might be able to see a bit better. But there's some windows very faint in the livery background, you can see a bit down here as well. And just up some of the front. So they're the obviously old windows of the original uh, commercial aircraft covered over. So it's not a problem with the model or such, this is how it's supposed to be. You can see the DHL uh, titles on the front and the front main open uh, cargo door here. You can see the outline of it. That's where the main sort of loading goes on. You can see also the cockpit, um, not the cockpit, sorry, the landing gear doors. You can see it says ETOPS on it, so uh, twin engine operations for overseas. So you can see that there in just yellow, very subtle. And then obviously the, uh, the landing gear down the bottom, very nice rubber quality from NG models as you would expect. The top front antenna is up here as well. And then if we just move it ever so slightly down a little bit, you can just see the front landing light down here, the leading edge slats, the engines. These are the Rolls-Royce RB211s on the 757, very famous engine, obviously known for powering the 757, certain variants of the 767 and primarily the 747 with British Airways and other airlines alike. Uh, the rear landing gear down the bottom there, the rubber uh, wheels as you can see as usual with NG models and then we've got the red navigation light which is just down there. Another good view here as well, you can kind of see the windows reflecting off the fuselage, so sort of just by here, very faint, you can see the outline of the windows. We've got a rear door, obviously for emergencies, it being a freighter, it's not a cargo door. Um, and then the registration with the Australian flag, Victor Hotel Tango Charlie Alpha. Um, and then the flying orangutan, as this aircraft obviously is named. Uh, primarily after Jeremy Clarkson, um, DHL partner for the Grand Tour, so that is why they have named this aircraft that specifically. And you can see on the tail, a very nice detail, uh, painted graphic there, the Grand Tour and Jeremy Clarkson. Within the white titles below, it says Boeing 757 PCF in the livery following nicely to the back where we see the APU. 
and obviously uh, some pretty nice detail. NG models do quite a good job with the APU typically. Um, and yeah, the only thing I can see that isn't on the back there is the logo lights, but I'm not sure. I can't quite see this, so I don't think they popped those in. But um, we have got the logo lights, I believe. Uh, sorry, the nav lights for the back, you can just see. And uh, we've also got an antenna up the uh, up for the rear as well. So we will now flip it over and we can have a look at the other side uh, just to check out some of the other small details like the cargo doors and such. So this is the other side of the aircraft. You very faintly can see the cargo door just by where my, uh, my pointer is. Obviously this side you can actually see the windows a bit better through the red of the DHL. Um, the old, obviously, original uh, commercial windows that were covered up to make this freighter. Again, the RB211 power plants on this model. Coming further to the back, um, you can see, again, one of the bulk cargo doors just down the bottom there. So, some very nice detail overall on this model. What we can do now, actually, is um, have a look at the underbelly of the aircraft and just have a look maybe at some, some, some details underneath. We should have a registration under there. So here we go now with the underneath of the aircraft. You can see on the wing, we've got the registration Victor Hotel Tango Charlie Alpha. A stand holder for NG models. Obviously, they don't come with the models themselves, it being a 1 to 400 scale. Um, they don't come with them themselves, so you can buy those separately. We see the landing gear doors, um, some static ports, some pitot tubes, and then we've got the uh, antenna at the back and one on the front, and then the landing gear doors, as you can see, just up the front so there we have it and that is the uh 757-200 pcf by ng models the grand tour the flying orangutan livery um i definitely think it's got a lot of detail and depth to it um as i mentioned with the windows in the background to show that it is a pcf and used to be a commercial operated 757 that adds a nice touch yes it's not overly um, you know, visible, like you can't see them now. But when we have the light on the model to have a little look closer at some of the details, you could really sort of pick it out in the background across the DHL titles and such. So I think that's a nice addition to it. Um, and especially if you're a collector, you may be like the Grand Tour and you're, you're into it like I am, then um, it's definitely a model for you, um, especially you know, if you collect model aircraft anyway, you've got quite a few freighters. This would be a good one to have as a DHL 757. Um, and along with this, they do the James May livery as well. Um, so this model you know, can be paired together with the two of them, which would look quite nice if you have both of them in a display. And as I said, you can get a stand for them as well separately. Um, if you are interested in this model, uh, as I said, the link to our website is down in the description below, as well with some of our details for the giveaway we're hosting. Um, let us know what models you would like us to review in the future, and we can take a little look at them, maybe if you're unsure and want a little bit of a closer look, we can certainly do that for you. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and it's a bye-bye from me.